Hey y'all, it's the Hello Real Show. We are here at Afro Comic Con. Yes, you heard it, Afro Comic Con. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go inside, check out some vendors, talk to the people, and let y'all know so you can come out and make it next year. Black on black on black. Black on black, black on black. All right, it's Hello Real. Uh, ow. <laughs> and we're here with? With a dope artist. Can you tell us your name? Yeah, hi, I'm, my name is Jamil Hempill and I'm Editor-in-Chief of National Press Comics. Well, can you tell us your name? Oh, my name is Nicole Adams. I'm Teresha. Karen Turner of Karen's Art. Um, my name is Tori Hunter. Imani Baylor. It's Khadija White. Uh, my name is Black Y'all. I am Dave Dewanch. It's Corbray, aka Hella Futures. Uh, my name is uh, Ken. And can you tell us uh, what do you have going on right here? Oh, I have a lot of art and um, a lot of original stuff. I do do occasional fan art, but um, I mostly do my own original characters. <laughs> okay, I love what you have going on here. So, what is your what is your favorite character that you create that you created? It's like asking a mama her favorite child. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, uh, I would probably say this one. He's okay. my favorite. His name is Bo. He's Bo. an yes, he's an amputee, so he only has his um. This is the right left, right arm, <laughs> and um, he's a farmer. He's like I've like developed him over like maybe like four or five years. It's been okay. it's been a while, <laughs> and you should have seen the art when I first made him. <laughs> so he so he's a farmer amputee. Mm -hmm. Is there like a quick story to how that um, well, happened? Oh, uh, he was born like that, but um, okay. he had an interesting family life. His um. Grandma with his, his grandmother was kind of like not the best, you know. Uh, but his family was always supportive and stuff. And his two siblings, he has a twin brother named Xavier and a little sister named Dallas. And they all live in Texas, in Dallas. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's basically the whole story. It's very short and cute and quaint, but he's just a character that I've developed for like so long. I basically know him inside and out because I, I made him. He's your best friend. <laughs> and do you sell any of your art anywhere, like online or in store? Oh, um, I am actually planning to sell my stuff. We are making an online store. I am trying to get my red. I'm trying to get my red bubble, you know, more taken off and stuff. Okay. And so, so, so while you're getting that uh, kicked off, uh, is there anywhere like where can they reach you, like in social media, like social handles you want to share with? If you want to like reach me for like. Um, like if you want to like specifically like buy something from me and you like and my store isn't up at the moment, you could always message me on Instagram, which is Galaxy Muffin 16, and um, I have an Instagram, I have a Twitter, I have a Tumblr. I'm not active on that. I have a Tumblr, and I have a YouTube with over maybe like 20 videos of fun stuff. <laughs> Y'all got that? <laughs> Won't you tell us what it is you do? I create a uh, recreate actually black superheroes or reimaginings of black superheroes. Okay, so what? give us in a couple examples of what you got. So what I do is like I recreate like Harry Potter characters, um, Dragon Ball Z of course, um, just characters that I know that black nerds love and connect. Shout out to the blurred. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that love um, and I just try to make it more that we can connect in with all shades. So like with the Powerpuff Girls, I have um, Blossom with Freckles, I have Buttercup with Vitiligo, I have al um, Bubbles with Albinoism. So it's like, I just try to connect everybody um, that loves superheroes, magic, otherness <laughs> into my work. That is really awesome. Um, so where can people find you if they wanna buy some pieces or? Um, I have a website um, at www.bmjartshopinc.bigcartel.com and you can always find me or click the link um, to my website on Instagram at I don't even know underscore art at I-U-N-E-V-E-N-O underscore art. What are you showcasing today? Oh, my um, business is called Popular Pixels, okay. and uh, my medium is Perla beads, otherwise mm -hmm. known as fused beads. Mm -hmm. They're the beads that you lay on a pegboard mm -hmm. and iron. Okay. And yeah. How long have you been doing it? 
about five years. Five years when I first bought my daughter her own kit and she didn't seem all that interested but I saw the potential. Mm -hmm. um, it also brought out in me this feeling of nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Going back to it's like walking down memory lane to my own childhood and all the characters that I love that are, it seems like they're all coming back now. <laughs> you know, so yeah. So that's what inspires me. I'm a big kid. <laughs> Cool. Now, where can folks find your art and purchase it and follow you? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I have a website. I have a social media presence. Mm -hmm. um, my website is pixels.pop.com, mm -hmm. and I'm on social media as Popular Pixels, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, Mani. So, what do you do? What are you showcasing today? Um, so, what I'm showcasing, uh, my store is called Eccentric Vibes, and it's just a small online boutique, um, and I sell vintage clothes that I collect from everywhere. So I have like furs and just different jackets that are just funky prints. And then I upcycle um, kente garments with like shirts, jackets, pants, anything like that. I have some of my original designs there. And then I also do accessories. So sunglasses that are really affordable and earrings that are really affordable. So you get a bang for your buck. <laughs> All right, so uh, where do you like sell your things? Mm -hmm. um, just around the Bay Area. I do different pop-ups for different events like here at Afro Comic Con. So you can find me really anywhere. Um, but there's an event in the Bay. More than likely, I'm going to be there. <laughs> okay, and do you want to share with our viewers your social handles where they can find you? Sure, you can find me at eccentric underscore vibes underscore online. That's it. <laughs> um, also, where do you collect your vintage items? Like, how do you, do people donate them to you? Or? So, I have got some donated to me before, um, but I just shop everywhere and online. So, different thrift stores, Goodwills, eBay, and just random vintage clothing stores that are online. Okay, so if you're all looking for your vintage items, you guys know where to look because those are hard to find, <laughs> special pieces. Yeah, so. One of <laughs> All right, we're here showcasing everyone at Afro Comic Con. So, why don't you go ahead and tell us who you are, what you do? I am a 2D animator and illustrator. This is my first time to Afro Comic Con, and I'm selling my book, 80 Years of Color. Show us, show us the book. Show us the book. So, this is my book. It's a historical timeline of African American history. Uh, it starts with the 1920s and then it goes all the way to the 2000s. Each decade has just a little bit of information of what was happening and then you get to dive right in and start to color. I was really inspired by history in general and also representing my culture in a positive light. And I remember being a little girl not able to color myself and knowing that the brown crown is not utilized a lot. We come in all shades, and this was something that I wanted to do to bring generations together from old to young, and my grandparents reacted to it and said, I remember when I used to wear my hair like that, or my, my grandfather was, I remember the Tuskegee Airmen. So it's available on Amazon as well, too, and I did bring some of my prints with me as well. I'll just bring one okay, here. Okay. Um, so That's beautiful. Very thank you. <laughs> so I, I love my culture and I love history in general, but I'm very passionate about representing both. My Representation biggest, matters. Yes. 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 <laughs> My biggest career goal is to have my own animation studio and represent minorities in animation and tell our story properly. So this is just the beginning. Y'all caught it on Hella Real. Yay! Yay! <laughs> well, I, mean, I couldn't have done it without my two sisters. Yeah. All right, all right. Y'all yeah. want to add anything? Yeah. What's oh. your name? Hey, I'm Chelsea. They call me Seeing Sight. I, I'm normally the videographer, so I know what it's like to not have that mic on. <laughs> and together, we are the Chocolatiers, so look out for us. Yep. Okay. I would love that, Chocolatiers. Yes. Um, so my name is Aaliyah, and it is just a blast watching Khadidra grow as an artist. Um, I remember as she was putting the coloring book together, she sketched everything by hand, and then she imported everything to Procreate. So watching it come to life here is an honor. What is your art and how, where do you get the inspiration from? Well, my art features an African-American uh, woman that boasts a crown of exotic, luscious, natural hair. And the imagery includes watermelons and positive themes.
to offer an uplifting lifestyle. Now, where can people find your art if they want to purchase it, if they want to follow you? Mm -hmm. Well, if they'd like to follow me, they can follow me at Karen's Art on Instagram. Um, I'm also Karen Turner on Facebook and um, Karen'sArt.com. Uh, my name is spelled K-A-R-I-N. So if you're going to type me into Google, you want to use that I, and all my information will pop up for you. And I welcome additions to my email list as well as followers. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So what do you have here? Um, we have a lot of uh, prints and t-shirts, um, uh, various stuff like, you know, superheroes and, you know, um, mashups between, um, you know, historical photos. Like we have the new Black Panther um, print which is based off the iconic photo from, you know, Bobby Seale and Huey P. Newton standing out front of the, the window, you know. That's dope, that's dope. So you, you created all of this? Yeah, I did most of the, the, uh, the artwork. Um, also, Fernando, he did some of the, 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 animal, the animal prints. Which one's Fernando? Nice one. Hello, <laughs> Fernando. <laughs> so, um, so, yes, which, what is your work here for now? Um, my work is in this folder here, oh, but okay. yeah, I primarily focus on like the animal pieces, so pieces. watercolors with dogs, cats, and just like different types of animals there. Okay, and how'd you guys get together? Man, I've known this dude for like 20 years now, so I just stuck with him and he'd been doing all kind of art and whatnot, and then just, he used to work with him, and then he knows somebody else that I work with, and we're all intertwined, so <laughs> it just worked out that we all make art in our different kind of ways. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta do it all together. Come yeah, up together. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> so, where can our viewers find find you or find your art? Okay, uh, you can find our collective, which is Grow Canvas Grow at uh, growcanvasgrow.com or Grow Canvas Grow on Instagram and uh, Twitter. And you can follow my uh, my personal art account, which is uh, at blackyow at uh, Instagram or facebook.com. Uh, slash Black Yow, the artist. You can follow me there. All right, y'all get that. <laughs> and, so, and what are you showcasing, Dave? So I am a writer of comics and a pop culture artist. And uh, on my table, I've got my book Cyrus Perkins, Prom of the Dead, Infinite Seven. And I got these really cool kind of Game of Thrones superhero prints. And uh, just having fun kicking it. Ooh. Hometown. Ooh, that's what's up. Now, where do you draw your inspiration and how long have you been doing this work? I've been doing this for like 15 years now and uh, inspiration comes from like, I mean, wherever I can find it, like something like Cyrus Perkins, uh, I literally was dying and I got into a taxi cab and I, and I told the driver, if I died in this cab, I'm going to haunt it. So I woke <laughs> up from surgery and I was like, I'm going to write a haunted taxi cab story. So that's kind of why I'm the death defier. Um, so I get inspiration wherever I can get it. Um, Sometimes it's from just stuff I love. Sometimes it's from like real life events, and uh, you know, I try and infuse as much drama and humor uh, and personality into it as possible. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Now, uh, where can folks find your art and your your comics and everything? So it's like it. like you can find all of my stuff at outofmymind.co, or you can just like search the internet. My name's Dave Dewanch. Uh, if you Google me, like literally my last name is made up. So <laughs> if you Google Dewanch, like you're gonna find all of my uh, relatives and me and all of my relatives are like super good looking. So you're in for a treat if you oh Google my, my last name. It's not even about this thing. It's about so all that of my, Google my, search, my, my beautiful Dewanches <laughs> out there. The yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like really creepy when you're like, oh, hey, all of my relatives are really good looking. Like it sounds creepy. You shouldn't be saying that about your cousins, you know, but, but I'm not a liar. I yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I say it way too frequently. Maybe if you say it too frequently, it gets weird. So, so thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Have fun with that. Okay, we're here with another artist. So, what is your name? What you showcasing? Uh, my name is Core Bray, aka Hella Futures. Showcasing my uh, Afrofuturistic art here. Uh, it's my babies, my brain. Um, took me so many hours to complete it, and I'm hoping people like it. Yes, it's very detailed and intricate. On average, how long does like a piece take for you? Yeah, just like on average about 20 hours. Yeah. So it's worth it, y'all. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping it's worth it. Yeah, um, 20 hours, I went to art school. And they said if you don't spend at least 20 hours on a piece, then you're wasting your time. And that's just kind of like been in my brain. And so I'm, I'm also a, a middle school art teacher, so I'm just trying to find that balance between 
spend all this time on these pieces and like teaching the kids and like getting all that together. But you're right, it's like it's worth it to be here and to see, you know, people like you, you know, going around and like appreciating the art and doing art yourself and trying to come up also. So like it is worth it. Yeah. We're all creatives here. So what middle school? Oh, shout out to Low Star, Sobrani Park, 105th East Oakland, what? Ow. <laughs> All right, well, thank you again. Oh, yeah, we didn't do the shout out yet. Hella Futures, follow me at Hella oh, Futures yes. at Instagram. Yes. The plug. Please, my art is amazing. Come and see it. Hella Real, they're Hella Real. Thank you, ladies. All right, can you show us what you have going on today here at Comic sure. um, MPC has been around for about 19 years. We're a creator owned comic book company. Um, so everything you see here is created by the guys who are here with me behind the counter. Um, we have a bunch of different titles. Uh, we have Juan and Feces, which is a hip hop version of Ren and Stippy made by A. Scott. We have the Boom Unit, uh, the Healthy Heroes. They're a group of teens who protect the Bay Area and they're protecting us from corporations who are trying to take over the, the U.S. and they're trying to keep our water clean and everything. They're hamming it up for you right now even though they forced me to speak. They're just going to take all the credit and act all like cool while I talk and everything. <laughs> all right. And then we have the bulk of the comics, the most important comics, the ones I create. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, since since they're gonna let me talk, I'm gonna talk about my hella good comics here. Oh. All right, first we have Minute the Mighty, which is about the reincarnated Nubian goddess. Um, I wrote it for my daughter. Uh, it's basically she wakes up, she realizes she's reincarnated, and all the other gods and goddesses have vanished. Okay. So she's on a quest to find everyone else. Then we have uh, Black Jacks, which is about a military super team. Um, picture like SEAL Team Six, the guys who got Bin Laden, yeah. but we know who they are and they're celebrities oh. and they have powers so it's america's top black ops team that actually has to be on jimmy fallon every night and cutting ribbons so it's like a weird thing like and then we all teamed up of course on our coloring book here the big book of awesome and we have ground zero which is kind of like a behind the scenes look at some of our uh, co comics what we did is we took excerpts from three of our other titles put them in here they have creators commentary and when we get bored we draw covers on them yeah, so that is NPC in a nutshell. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to head over to the guys here. Yeah, Looking very you. nice, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, anything you guys like to add? Maybe your names? <laughs> I'm Paul McGill. As of today, I have just signed. I'm going to cut that out. I have just signed with National Press Comics. So they will be publishing my content in the near future. <laughs> Man, I'm, uh, Too late now. I am the creator of Boom Unit, and I'm happy to be partners with these guys. And my name is Adrian H. Scott. I'm the creator of Superhood and Juan and Phil, and really blessed to be rolling with these dudes. Aww. <laughs> happy to have you guys on the show. Okay, so we ha oh, before we go to, go to our two fun questions, where can our viewers find you? You can find us all over the web on Google Books, Google Play, um, iTunes, iBooks, uh, Comixology, Amazon, wherever. And it's important to remember that any comic book store that or can order Spider-Man or X-Men can order our books, but we depend on you to go in and ask for them. All right, hope you guys got that. <laughs> and assist me on Hella Real. Yes. Check out our website, because we do have a shirt that says Hella Good Comics, because we're from Oakland. So obviously, Afro Comic Con, we had to talk to the Black Panther. <laughs> so tell us what you do, who you are, what you got going on. Well, my name is uh, Ken. We call us Ken K Shay. Uh, actually, my better half ain't here right now. But uh, we cosplaying royalty. We've been cosplaying for uh, I want to say five, six years now. And uh, we got we do panels, we do costume contests for judges. We uh, do artwork, just. See, so we do all type of things. So we just put in our fingers and we dibble and dabble and everything. We make props for uh, costumes. So a lot of stuff. We just do a lot of things. Okay. Here at Afro Comic Con, you guys, what are you doing here today? Uh, actually, we're here to judge a costume contest. And uh, we're here just to, you know, pay you know, a tribute to people that um, that we've seen here. We was here last year. And, you know, just like we got a bunch of friends and everything. And we just like seeing the positivity and people just, you know, having fun and the kids having fun and everything, it's just it's great. Speaking of kids, my son took a picture with them last year with his little <laughs> costume, so right, thank yeah. you for that. No, he had a dope suit too, that was raw, I like that suit. <laughs> 
Okay, so where can people find you if they want to book you or things like that? You can find us on Facebook as uh, K Shea and our IG is cosplay and under slash royalty. And uh, at the moment we're working on the YouTube and working on Twitter as well. But we don't talk about that probably in our later posts, but we're working on that. But Facebook and Instagram, you can find it for sure though. Okay, when you got the YouTube popping, we'll do stuff for stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and last of all, we are hella real, and you yourself, you are hella... Wakanda, and real. Hey! <laughs> well, we are hella real, so you gotta fill in the blank, you are hella... Real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> real? No. Hella... Real! Okay, we already got that. <laughs> we got that. Oh, you got that. I didn't understand the rules at first. Okay, uh, all right. Hella... Up, uh, real? No, up, uh, me? Okay. Hella you? <laughs> I'm hella the queen. Hella artistic. Uh, I am hella nerdy. You are hella fill in the blank. Creative. <laughs> I am hella creative. Oh, an alcoholic. <laughs> hella real. Hella. Chill. I'm, I'm hella good comments. Or hella. Dope. Hella. Dope. You are hella woke. I'm hella woke. You're hella funky. <laughs> I'm hella yay area. I'm hella bay. Yay area. My bad. So we are hella real, mm -hmm. and you yourself are hella futures. Hella futures. Hella I knew already, that's why I knew. <laughs> <laughs> you knew, you knew. I'm hella resilient. I bounce back. I keep on going. I don't start again. I continue on. I love it. I love it. Thank Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed all the artists that we met, all the artwork, all the fun we had. Um, anything else you guys want to add to the Like, subscribe. Buy art, support the arts, black excellence, Wakanda forever. <laughs> Just follow them all. We need they need all the support they can get, so. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hella real.